Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God. So this is a story time why I never did witchcraft, sorcery, or black magic, and I never will. God wants me to share this story to you, so I am. It's, it happened when I was about eight years old. So when I was eight years old, I went to my stepmother's house for the weekend, and I was there with my stepsister in her room, and we were talking, and I told her about a boy that I liked at school, and I don't think that he likes me. And she's like, I could get him to like you. And I'm like, how? If he doesn't like me, he just doesn't like me. Can't make him like me. And she's like, yes, you can. I, um, my mom, my mom is a witch. And she has this witch book. She has this book of spells. You can just put a love spell on him. And in that very moment, God spoke to me. He's like, witches die. Don't you dare do it. And then I said it to her. I didn't tell her what God said to me because he was spe He spoke to me loud and clear. She didn't hear him, but I did. And I'm like, and I said to her, witches are not good. Because at that time, you know, I watched a lot of Disney movies and I didn't like witches. They never were good. They always melted. They always died. All evil things happened. And obviously God knew the knowledge that I had just of watching movies about witches, not knowing about real life witches. So in that very moment, God said to me, don't you dare do it. Witches die and he hates witchcraft. So then I said to her, I'm like, God doesn't like that. You're not supposed to be a witch. And why would you say that your mom is a witch? And she's like, because my mom is a witch. She has this witch book. And I'm like, what? And she's like, I can get him to like you if you do a love spell on him. And I'm like, I'm not going to do that. And God told me again, don't you do that. Witches die. And that stuck with me for the, all my life. And I would never do witchcraft because it's evil. Show me which movie that a witch is good. There's no such thing as a good witch and a bad witch. Witches are evil. Casting love spells, doing magic is evil. Getting power from any power that's not God is evil. Seeking these thing, type of things are evil. And um, when I was 26, that's when God started to show me and tell me, like people who's done witchcraft on me, people who do witchcraft. And then like, I was living in Jamaica for about two years. And um, at one time, I had a landlady, like a, a landlord, and um, God told me and my son to duck down from the and look out the window, but don't let her see us. And we did it. And the landlady, the the landlord, she came and she was setting a trap in our yard, like she was digging it. And I said, God, why is she doing that to us? Why is she doing that? And he's like because you guys are foreigners and she likes to hear when you argue with your family i'm like what yeah and he said she thinks it's funny when she hears you and your family argue because of you guys accent and i'm like oh my goodness this woman is sick and like ever since that god would sh like he, he he just talked to me stay away from that man stay away from that woman don't go there. Don't take that from them. That is witchcraft. They're trying to hurt you. And all these, like, all of these things always stuck with me. Why well, I would never, it doesn't matter what somebody does to me. I don't care what they do. I will never pick up my hands to touch witchcraft. That is like putting your hand in shit. Literally putting your hand in shit. Because listen, People who do witchcraft, it comes back to them. When you set a curse, it comes back to you because that's cursed in itself. Those are unclean things and unclean works. And then later on in life, God showed me so many times that my stepmother, she's done so much witchcraft against me. And, and, and I was like, whoa. And I didn't take heed to when I was a little girl, when I was eight years old, and then her daughter told me that she was a witch. And I said, why would you say that about your mother? No, she's not. 
but I had no idea at the time that my stepmother was a witch, that she dabbled in all sorts of witchcraft and sorcery and magic. But now I'm older, now I'm a grown woman, and I know right well that she does all these type of witchcrafts and all kind of wicked works. And um, God had to deliver me many, many, many times from her, from all the things that she done against me. So I will never do witchcraft, and I, and I suggest if you do witchcraft, you should stop it. And God has always made me aware if there's some type of witchcraft in my presence, if someone near to me or close to me or in my family is doing it, or anybody, like if I've dated a man, God would tell me don't talk to him because he dabbles in witchcraft. If I've hanged around some people, God would tell me don't hang around them. They, they work witchcraft. And like a lot of people, I wouldn't tell them that I knew that they were doing things. I, I just would stop talking to them. And then they'd start saying evil things about me just because I'd stop talking to them. But I didn't give them any awareness of why I stopped talking to them. Because when people hurt me, um, a lot of the times I don't, I don't go seeking how, I don't go seeking like to tell them why they hurt me. I, I just cut them off neatly, kindly, and that's it. I just stop calling them. I stop hanging out with them and I just stop talking to them. I just go, I just take away myself from them and the whole equation. I don't make a fuss about it, nothing. I just pray to God, Father, remove all that evil, those curses, those witch work that they did against me. And he, and he's always been my guide. God has always been my guide and he's always led me. And that wasn't the first time he spoke to me. Also when I was five, um, obviously he speaks to me a lot more now but even when I was in the world I've never did witchcraft even before I got baptized I never did witchcraft none I would never because he spoke to me when I was eight years old about witchcraft about wickedness and um, when I was 26 he just started showing me and telling me and saying that's witchcraft that's an evil object don't touch that don't go there don't step there don't do that and I just always listened to him and because I listened to him he spoke to me much more and he told me people who do witchcraft he doesn't talk to them and I love having my conversations with God I love being in his presence like he's taught me so many things he's comfort me in every way he's shown me so much love like love that I can't even express with words like no man no woman no mother no dad has ever given me or shown me the love that God has shown me like so I would never want to ruin my relationship with God for to put my hands in shit and I won't that is one thing I will not do I would never hurt somebody like that. I would never do something like that. And no matter what somebody else does to me, even if they do it, I'm not doing it. I'll pray to God to judge them because he told me that witches die. And then obviously when I got older and I started reading the Bible more, I read in Exodus 22, 18, God says, suffer not a witch to live. And then in, um, Leviticus 20 and 27 where it says um, if a man or a woman is a wizard or has a familiar spirit that they'll sh they surely surely shall be put to death and their blood shall be upon them so I I will never do that I know that you will die your blood will be upon you I know that you're cursed you're cursed already and you're a curse in yourself. And your your presence is, your energy and your presence is already evil. Like, it's darkness. There's dark forces following you. There's curses following you. And you have the spirit of death following you. That is all he taught me, like, with growing up and knowing more about witchcraft. And I'm telling you people, if you have done witchcraft, sorcery, magic, black magic, or whatever type of witch work wizardry you need to repent because you will surely die and your blood will be upon you and God won't suffer you to live because you're going out of the will of God 
the, the witchcraft spirit fights against the spirit of God and the truth of God because witchcraft is a lie. It's an illusion. It's a delusion. It's confusion. So God is not the author of confusion. God is the God of truth. So when you use witchcraft, it's a lie. It's an illusion. It's a pollution. It's, a, it's wickedness. And God hates wickedness. That's why he won't suffer a witch to live because they're trying to play God. You're trying to play God with any situation that whatever it is that they're using their witchcraft for, they're trying to play God. And God said, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. They shouldn't have to resort to witch for witchcraft for anything. Not for money, not for beauty, not for fame, not for a job, not for someone to love them. And I am so happy that I've never done it. And I'm so happy that I will never do it because I will never jeopardize my life with God and my relationship with God and God speaking to me, God walking with me, being in his presence, his love and his happiness that he, he fulfills me with for any form of witchcraft, no matter what someone does. If someone does you evil, I just pray to God and he will judge them. And when you do, when you don't do witchcraft, God will judge your enemies quickly and swiftly. People who do witchcraft, they try to pray to God to defeat their enemies, and he doesn't do it because they're doing witchcraft. They need to repent. And if they continue in this witchcraft, they will die. And he wanted me to share that story with you, and that's why I will never do witchcraft. I don't care what, what happens in your life. Don't resort to witchcraft. You don't have to. I'm... I am 33 and I never did it and I will never do it. And I told you why. Because when I was 8 years old, God told me, do not do that, which is die. Don't you dare. And he repeated himself. And even when my sister was talking to me, he was talking to me at that same time. Even talking, wanted me to talk to her that she shouldn't do it. So, beautiful people, I hope this helped you and this enlightened you. And please stay away from putting your hand in shit.